we get it. Bleach is back. We're all excited. But something's off. Something in the air is not right. CBR dropped an article talking about 10 anime characters who can defeat Aizen. Now, based off the thumbnail, I'm not even sure what we're in for. But since it's a CBR, let's just go for it. At number 10, CBR said that Saitama will only need one punch to box for Aizen. <laughs> Blasphemy. I don't care if you even have Saitama around the Goku tier. If you want to put Saitama above or below Goku, that's, you know what, have fun. But even Goku himself would need more than one attack to take down Aizen. You think that Saitama can get it done with only one punch? Are we serious? Listen, we have to remember, Aizen's a master of deception, and he also is an excellent Keto user. Oh, and let's not forget that he has the Hogyoku, so his powers are going to be transcending. Saitama had to throw multiple punches against Boros, but you think that it will only take one for Aizen? Come on, CBR. At number nine, CBR said, you know what, let's just throw Light Yagami into the mix, because... <laughs> Now let's be real for a moment, because this level of disrespect doesn't even shock me, it's CBR. But what does shock me is that they believe that Light Yagami will be able to write down Aizen's name in time. First of all, the Kyoka Soigetsu. We know that the moment Light puts his eyes on that, it's game over. As a matter of fact, Light's gonna think he won. He's gonna think he actually got a chance to write his name down. Meanwhile, he's been hallucinating the entire time. This is what Aizen does to people. He plays with their emotions. He plays with your mental. This is somebody that's way beyond what Light can do. At number eight, CBR said that Jotaro can clap Aizen. Now this one's a kind of a weird matchup because you're having a stand user going up against somebody that's fighting from a completely different dimension as a Shinigami but let's see what they have to say. Aizen often believes that he is untouchable. Such overconfidence led to him underestimating Ichigo and a similar situation played out with Dio Brando and Jotaro Kujo's final confrontation. So I just want to make sure we get one thing straight. Part 3 Dio is not Aizen. In what world are we making the comparisons? What is measly time stoppage going to do against an Aizen? Aizen's gonna have Jotaro literally hallucinating. He's not even gonna know what's going on because he's never dealt with an opponent like this before. But Aizen has dealt with people that are stronger than Jotaro in Bleach alone. The powers that Aizen had to go up against were an Ichigo that sacrificed all his spiritual energy to physical power and he was cut in mountains. This is how powerful Ichigo was at that time and this is who Aizen was boxing against. Jotaro has no shot against that Ichigo. At number seven, CBR said that Giorno Giovanna can take down Aizen. Now this is a conversation. Now the first thing I'm thinking of is I'm thinking about the Hogyoku and Gold Experience Rec Room having a clash. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is because we know that the Hogyoku is literally manifesting the will of the user. It's manifesting Aizen's will to build up his power so he's elite. But if Gold Experience Rec Room can revert the effects of the Hogyoku, Aizen now looks a lot easier to deal with for Giorno Giovanna. And I do think that that would end up compromising Aizen. I'm definitely not saying Aizen can't defeat a base journal but if we're bringing in gold experience requiem this is a power that I think that the Hogyoku might have a little bit of an issue dealing with which would make Aizen struggle at number six CBR said that Goku is too strong for Aizen and of course <laughs> as you guys can see in the thumbnail here that is an ultra instinct Goku what else do you need to see is there anything else you guys need to see leave it in the comments below but you already know where I'm at this is a complete destruction he's too fast He's too strong. He's too powerful. It is what it is. At number five, um, CBR is definitely trying to take his crown back from Game Rain. They said that Lelouch only needs to utter one command <laughs> for Aizen. <laughs> The fact that they made it seem like it would be a cakewalk for Lelouch has to be one of the most disrespectful statements on Aizen, period. This is ridiculous right here. We all love the power of the Gias. That's great. And I would never disrespect Lelouch's intelligence because I do think he's one of the most intelligent anime characters of all time. But Aizen's in that conversation as well. The CBR have no knowledge about Urahara and Aizen's history and what went down with the Hogyoku. I mean, Aizen is a mastermind. The whole reason why Ichigo became so strong was because of Aizen. Aizen playing this all out. So for y'all to act like he only needs one Gias command to take down Aizen, that has to be the most disrespectful thing I've ever seen against Aizen. In an effort to redeem themselves from the chaos that they've been writing in this article, they picked up Gojo at number four. And we can have a conversation about this. I'm actually proud of CBR for bringing this conversation up because 
It's a tough one. Let's see what they had to say. While his ultimate move, the domain expansion, creates an unlimited void that inexplicably traps his opponent's mind in a state of limbo. In the miraculous event that Aizen could survive any of this, Gojo also outmatches him with his sheer cursed technique creativity. I'm not mad at it. Can we think of a counter from Aizen for Gojo's domain expansion? Off the top of my head, I cannot think of one. But that does not mean that Aizen can't win before the domain expansion is activated. I believe Aizen would need to use the effects of the Kyoka Soigetsu against Gojo, have him hallucinating before the domain expansion is activated. Because once that's activated, I can't think of a counter for Aizen getting out of that. I don't think there's any Keto abilities that are going to be ripping through that infinite void. But before Gojo activates his domain expansion, Aizen has a decent shot. At number three, CBR went with Rimuru from slime all my slime fans again i'm not up on slime just yet but i've heard some great things about rimuru so let me know down in the comment section below if rimuru takes it based off what i've heard i think rimuru should win but i have to see it for myself whatever i said about the loose point i take it back i take it back wow this is oh. koro sensei at number two they said koro sensei would take eyes into school and do what teach him lessons on how to die i mean what is he going to be teaching him in in the Listen, y'all, I don't care about the moon feet. I don't care about any of that. Koro is not hanging with Aizen. The most impressive thing to me about Koro Sensei is the Mach 20 speeds. But what does that mean? I know some people might try to bring up the moon feet. and that None of that matters. It's Aizen, y'all. It's Aizen, the Hogyoku, the Keto, the, the hallucinations. What, the, what can Koro Sensei bring up in his arsenal to deal with the hacks? from Aizen. I truly cannot think of one thing. Not saying Koro Sensei is weak, but he does not have an answer for the likes of Aizen. This is disrespectful. We're moving on. In regards to the number one spot I'm about to read off to you guys, I just want to say as a One Piece fan, I have nothing to do with this. I do not sign off on this. I did not agree with this. Whatever is said from this article from here on out has nothing to do with me as a One Piece fan. Just take my name out of it completely. They went with Monkey D. Luffy saying that he's going to end up clapping Aizen he has first of all they, dis, they didn't even spell his name right it's money d luffy in the article so we already know what's going on no rereading was going on on this article clearly because if somebody reread this they would have clearly been what the hell are you doing take him off immediately i love luffy just as much as the next one piece fan out there but we know <laughs> he has no business being in this conversation you can bring up conqueror's hockey you can bring up rero you can bring up armament you can bring up observation you can bring up the gomu gomu no Mi. you can bring up the fact that maybe one day he'll have awakening as a matter of fact let's just read what they had to say because i want to see where they're getting at with each transformation to a higher gear he gains access to devastatingly powerful attacks stop the quote which gear are you referring to because i know it sure is not gear second it's definitely not gear third and i know it's not gear fourth so which gear? For the likes of Aizen, you're gonna need what? A gear eight, gear nine, gear 10? I mean, <laughs> none of those gears that you're mentioning are keeping up with Aizen right now. That just is what it is, that's a fact. Please put Monkey D. Luffy in proper, con or actually Money D. Luffy in proper battles because this is not what's going to happen right now. He has no shot against the likes of Ice. As far as this article goes, I agree with Gojo, Giorno, Goku, and possibly Saitama. Possibly. But for everybody else, I have no idea what they're talking about. So you guys let me know down in the comment section below which parts you agree with or disagree with. And with that, I'll see you next time. Peace.